The president of Mexico, Andres Manuel López Obrador, reiterated in a press conference the request to suspend Ecuador as a member state of the United Nations after the attack to the Mexican embassy in Quito. The president detailed that his government demands reparation of the damage caused by Ecuador. Mexican head of state demands also the suspension of Quito from the United Nations until the emission by Ecuador of a public statement of apology and a non-repetition agreement. López Obrador referred to the lawsuit filed at this ICJ reflecting the arguments for the transgressions committed against the Vienna Convention, which states the inviolability of diplomatic premises without exceptions. We have to wait for the International Court of Justice to decide on our claim and Mr. Guterres, Secretary General of the United Nations, is right when this is also for the member states of the United Nations organization to decide. So we are going to the Court of Justice and we are asking for Ecuador to be suspended from the United Nations until it pronounces itself and recognizes that they violated international law and our sovereignty, which is what we want. The Mexican President Andrés Manuel López Obrador has said that the petition seeks to impose a penalty and prevent the violation of international law. What we want, it is, the decision of the United Nations to expel any member state that violates international law and violates the sovereignty of countries and their embassies to become a maxim. In this press conference, the Mexican head of state highlighted the international community's solidarity with Mexico after the siege of its embassy in Quito. We are going to have a meeting on Tuesday, a video conference, which is being convened by the president of Honduras, Xiomara Castro, whom I thank very much, as I thank other presidents, because the truth is that there has been a lot of solidarity with Mexico. All the countries are very supportive of Mexico, and we are very grateful to her. So she is convening this video conference for Tuesday at 9 in the morning and we are going to participate and some presidents are confirming to participate on this issue.